Hey YouTube, I'm Derek. I'm Hayden. And we are Family, Family Explorers. Explorers. All right, so for today's video, we're gonna be talking about our setup at Willow Creek and kind of how we put our camper together, hook it up to the truck, not too in depth, but uh, we do wanna show everyone kind of how we like to camp and how we set up our trailer. And for those of you who don't know, t this week we have my right hand man Aiden here in with us today. Uh, Morgan was busy doing... At the skate park. Oh, she was at the skate park. Yeah, so she couldn't come and film with us today. But she'll be here next week. Um, next week? We also, behind the camera, we have Miss Ashley, my lovely, beautiful wife. Come say hi to the camera and our awesome fans, babe. Oh. <laughs> hi. Here she is. So we truly are family explorers. We all like to get out and explore literally everything. So speaking of next week's videos, we are going to show all of the gear that we use and that we're going to be taking with us on our trip to the lower 48. So we're going to be starting our trip in a couple of weeks going from Anchorage, of Anchorage Alaska to uh, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. We're going to take approximately 35 days? 30. 30 days in the car. Uh, driving, stopping, and hitting all of the amazing places along the way. Uh huh. Uh, uh, really uh, spending a lot of time between um, Utah, hitting the national parks there, and in California as well. Hopefully, we don't run into Tornado Alley. You think we will? Yeah. Where's that at? I don't know. <laughs> I'll do my I'll do my best to make sure we don't hit Tornado Alley. All right, so let's get started with the first clip. All right, so this first clip, we have our setup. We have our trailer and our truck. Our trailer is a 2017 Gray Wolf 26 CKSE. We love it. And then we have a 2018 Ford F-150 Sport XLT. Uh, the truck pulls amazing. So they upped up the stats for towing significantly in 2018. And we think it has amazing space. Yes. What do you think of the back seat? It's good. It's awesome. It's huge. And we use, uh, we use a Recurve R3 by Campco as our weight distribution slash stabilized system, which is a very budget-friendly system, and it absolutely works amazingly, and it's super easy to use. This is the lodge of Willow Creek Campground. What'd you drop? Nothing. Okay. And as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful in the fall. Well, it's beautiful in the summer as well. But uh, our, the spot that we got this, this week was right in front of the lodge, which is amazing because they have super clean showers and they have very nice bathrooms. So there's kind of a quick snapshot of our setup there with the truck, my four-wheeler, and then some of my friends and I playing a game of cornhole, which if you're from the Midwest, you know what it is. If you're not, then I can tell you. And then here, Morgan was the uh, main cameraman here. So I'll let Aiden kind of talk about this part. This is the park where he loves to hang out. So I like the bunnies and there's a bunch of good things you could do there. But the problem is that the bunnies make you trip if you walk too close to them. And there's raspberries picking over there. Is there? Yes. I didn't even know that. There's raspberries there. Oh, that's awesome. All right, here's our s'more station, if you will. We're hanging out with one of our one of my buddies, John, and we set up a really cool s'more station. Do you like s'mores? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. Did you like those s'mores? Yeah. S'more what? S'more your favorite. Oh, sick burn. All right, moving on. Okay. So now you can see a quick picture of what the beach looks like, and this is where all the fishing happens. Well, most of it anyways. Uh, we moved a little bit down upstream and tried to find some more, um, I guess, isolated fishing areas. And here's a picture of me with a sweet chum that I caught. Now we're moving into kind of like the orientation of our camper. So this is our setup. 
We use a 20 foot outdoor rug that I got off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below and it's absolutely amazing. Totally worth the money spent. And then we have the way that Ashley and I like to do it is we did purchase zero gravity chairs, which we love. And we use them a lot. And then in the center there we have our Camp Chef propane fire pit. Which, what do you think of that? Good. Why? Because I like because they, you you need propane, but the part that I like about it is it's not like real fire. You can swoop your hand in it without catching on fire. Oh yeah, that is cool. But it is real fire. Yeah. And Wait, Ashley loves it because she doesn't smell like a fire for days after you know when you're camping. No one really likes that fire smell. So this mitigates all of that and gets rid of it. So here is a quick snap of our four-wheeler. Oh, and that's our dog. And then our dog, Chewy. Yep. So moving inside of the trailer, we have a large super slide in here with a sweet couch and our TV that we set up our PlayStation on for Aiden. Mm -hmm. Which, what games do you play on there? Uh, I can't, I couldn't play any more games since there was a little problem. A disc got stuck in it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But I fixed it. Yeah. All right, there's the kids' bunks. Those are double bunks. They support up to 300 pounds. I only sleep on the bottom when it's comfortable. Yeah, Aiden gets the bottom. Morgan gets the top. I don't know why. Older kids like the top bunk for some reason. Mm -hmm. Anyways, moving on to the queen-size bed. We actually just purchased this mattress off Amazon. I'll put another link for that. And I'll tell you what, we love sleeping in that, in that mattress. I uh, love sleeping in my bed. <laughs> you do? It's just amazing. And so not only that, so that one big tip that I read um, online before I started getting into RVing, and it, it said that in order to continue RVing, you want to be as comfortable as possible, and you want to make sure that your kids are as comfortable as possible. That way they have something to look forward to. So what we try to do is we try to make sure that the mattresses are really good. That way they look, it's just the little things that they look forward to. Not only are they going to have fun out there, but they're going to thoroughly enjoy sleeping in their bed and they're going to enjoy all the little things like having the PlayStation set up when it's raining or um, having not having that campfire smell it's all the little things that we love to do and it really makes for an excellent trip wouldn't you agree Aiden what's your favorite part about camping that you can enjoy the outside and if you're near like a lake or a creek you can go swim in it Oh yeah, like we did in Tulsana. Remember that? That was so much fun. So I would have to say that my favorite part of camping is... S'mores. S'more what? S'more your face. Oh, again. So stay tuned for our next video where I'm going to break down all the gear that we're going to be bringing with us for our trip to the lower 48. So it's going to happen in two weeks. So next week is going to be our last video that we're going to post um, before we start the, the big trip. So if you haven't um, subscribed or liked, please do so uh, down below because these next couple weeks are going to be absolutely ama amazing. We're going to Yosemite Park, we're going to Zion National Park, we're going to Arches in, in Utah, we're going through the Redwood Forest in Oregon and California, we're going to be going to Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, um, traveling all over the place and there's going to there's going to be tons of footage. We're going to do uh, the Laird Hot Springs in Canada, uh, we're going to be what the hot springs in Utah, I think it's Diamond, yeah, Diamond. the Diamond Hot Springs in Utah. Just It's going to be an absolute epic adventure, so please subscribe, stay tuned, and we will be uploading every week during this big trip. Bye.